Hey guys, welcome back. Saturday night here. Let me get my camera squared away. Uh, let's see what I do today. My wife had to work overtime today, so I've been up here at the bench for the great majority of the day. And I went through and, and done a little bit more uh, rework on this on this high top that I made for this ambulance and I'll go ahead and pop it off. One thing I did do is I elongated this a little bit more, both length and width wise. And the reason why I did that was because I had to, the, the piece that was on there was crooked. But as you can see here, I added the what I'm going to call the weather strip around this and actually what that's going to do now that's going to be my locking point all the way around for this top so when that gets glued in place and all gets painted I'm thinking of doing a, a you know, a white, maybe from here up and possibly red or blue down here. I, I haven't made my mind up yet, you know, but once this all gets painted white, it it should, you know, it, it, it should uh, made up really good with that. So that's what... Uh, the weather strip should look like a nice bead around there because in in reality you know this would have been a uh, fiberglass from the ambulance manufacturer they would basically cut the roof off of whatever they had and then make the fiberglass top and fit it right on in there so i think i'm done with this I'm happy with that. And then another thing I've been working on today was uh, some more engine details. Uh, we got our nice four barrel carburetor on there. We stuck a piece of 35 thousandths rod in it, drilled a hole, glued that in for our air cleaner. And um, I got to do more work on that. I think you can see I tried to make some... Uh, throttle linkage in there. We've got a throttle return spring. I think it's showing up okay. Got a mount for it in the on the front of the block. And then we added a inline fuel filter along with the fuel line running up to the carburetor. So this uh, this little throttle linkage here, the hole in the back will have a cable run to it down to the firewall. And this is all just kind of loosey-goosey in there right now. Nothing's really stuck into place. I do have this little wire bent down here that will actually go through the hole. And all I did to create this was I drilled a 35 thousandths hole in the front of the block, stuck that piece of 35 thousandths rod in there, glued it in. And then I took a piece of 20 by 30. This is 30 thousandths wide by 20 thousandths thick sheet flat stock, drilled a couple holes in it, and then I started uh, nipping it down, sanding it, shaping it, and I've done the same thing over here for my throttle linkage. I just drilled a hole through the carburetor, stick, stuck that 35,000 rod in there, and then I had two pieces. The back one is for the spring. The front one will be, I'm sorry, the front one will be for the throttle cable that will run down to the firewall and just mated them all up there together 
whether it's prototypically correct or not. I highly doubt it, but it will give us a nice detail. Once this is all finished out, we've got all the all the wires and stuff run for it, and, and we start paint detailing things. I, I might have my water neck point in the wrong direction. I don't know. I need to get the kit radiator out and see where the the hose connection is for that. But that's that's just a dressmaker's pin and a, and a piece of tubing glued together. So that's easy to break off and twist around if I have to. But we're getting there um, slowly but surely. I think the next thing I'm going to do is try to make my uh, air breather cap for it. I want to try to do something with this old MPC hubcap to uh, make a breather for it. I'm going to chuck it up in my drill and turn this big edge of it off and try to try to drill a big hole in it, see if I can't get it to fit over that carburetor. But, yeah, little, little quick, simple details. And uh, we're going to have a, a pretty good-looking engine in our, in our made-up ambulance here. <clears throat> But that's all I've got uh, tonight. I, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for all the comments. And uh, I don't know. I might be back here tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.